guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a fall and Halloween haul and I even have a couple little Christmas things to show at the end. Actually, I have so many candles and wax melts to share with you at the end of this video and some of them happen to be Christmas scent. But let's get into like the home decor, home kind of stuff first. So I apologize if the lighting goes in and out. I'm having trouble figuring out my lighting at the moment and I'm sitting in a different spot just because my back was killing me. I tried to film on the floor in front of the fireplace like I've always done and it just wasn't working out for me today. So the first item that I have to share with you guys is this beautiful pillow. And this was a gift from a friend, um, Julie, from the channel Julie Simply Love, and that's her Instagram as well. I'll leave them both linked below. I was on the hunt for this and she was so sweet to gift it to me. And it just has the beautiful beading and silver and gold and the beiges and taupe. I just love this. So thank you so much, Julie. She did find this at Marshall's. And if you are on the hunt for it, like I was, I would look there. The next item is a super cute little pumpkin mug. I found this at Home Goods for $3.99. And you may have seen this in my fall coffee station video. I'll link that below if you haven't seen it. And it has a pumpkin in the middle and I just love it. I really wanted to find some Ray Dunn fall and Halloween mugs, but I couldn't find any. So I don't want to say I settled for that because I love it, but I went with that um, instead because I couldn't find the Ray Dunn. But I did happen to find a couple of these Ray Dunn Traveler mugs. And this one says blessed. I'm pretty sure this is part of the fall stuff that they put out. I think I've seen one that says thankful and one that says grateful online, but I could only find blessed and I like that. This one was $12.99 and I also found this one that says dog mom um, and this one was $9.99. No idea why the prices are different but they are. And then the last home decor item that I got is this Ray Dunn canister. This was $20 and it has the dancing skeletons on it and you guys have commented over and over again about this jar some of you saw it in the background of a few of my videos and by the way i just put the bow on it myself i did the same thing on a couple other jars in my kitchen so you'll see that in my fall home tour but the reason why i'm showing this to you now even though i've had it for a couple weeks one i never hauled it but two i saw on instagram that Somebody screenshotted um, the TJ Maxx website and this was on it a couple days ago. So if you're on the hunt for this and not having any luck in stores, I would kind of frequently check the TJ Maxx website because I have personally seen like these travel tumblers on there and trays and stuff. So you may be able to score this if you're kind of persistent on the TJ Maxx website. Okay, now let's get into the fall and Christmas candles and wax melts. So I'm going, all of these are from the brand Swan Creek and just kind of a little background with the brand Swan Creek. It is nationwide, but it happens to be local to me. So I can go to their factory or like their, I think it's called their factory. Um, it's not too far from me and pick out candles myself, but um, you can order them online. I'll leave their website linked below. And they may even have a store locator on their website. If they do, I will leave the store locator linked below as well. You can find out which places in your area carry these candles. Typically it's like gift shops and some sporting goods stores have them and, and uh, places like that. So I'll leave that link below if they have it. A background story though of how my love affair with Swan Creek got started is actually this started years and years ago. I was still probably in middle school or whatever when I discovered my love of candles and it started with Swan Creek. So my parents, um, they burned like, I don't even know what kind of candles they burned before Swan Creek, but they were causing soot up our walls because my parents burned candles in the same spot every day on our fireplace mantle and soot just uh, it, like it was almost like it all of a sudden appeared but I'm sure it was building up over time and you couldn't like scrub it off the wall so they had to hire somebody to come and repaint the wall and the guy said you need to burn soy candles if you don't want soot in your house because they're clean burning and then he recommended Swan Creek so from then on we just like fell in love with swan creek we would go to the store we would pick out our candles we always got the same candles every single time um, but it was just kind of like a family thing that i did with my parents i have three older brothers they didn't come with us but like me and my parents would go 
so that's kind of my background with Swan Creek. Um, once I moved out of my parents' nest, I kind of bought cheapy candles because I was poor. Now that I'm a little bit older and I can splurge a little bit more on candles, I do buy them again. And um, yeah, I just, this is a tried and true brand for me. And I always recommend them in my personal life. And I'm so happy to talk about them with you guys. So here are the candles that they sent me. Um, they are 100% American soybean wax, like I already said. Um, this one is allspice pumpkin custard. This one is pumpkin vanilla. This one is pumpkin caramel drizzle. This one is roasted pumpkin seed. And this one is pumpkin spice. I haven't burned these two because quite honestly, I don't really like their scents. They're both kind of dry, spicy sort of scents that aren't really my uh, scent preference so I haven't burned these but I'm going to probably see if any of my friends like these scents I'm sure they will it, I just happen to have like an aversion to spicy kind of scents so something to make note of with these candles you do need to let them pool out all the way meaning get a, a wax band all the way around pretty thick probably let it burn for three to four hours um, and it'll burn all the way down like this if you don't it will be uneven burning the way that this one is. And believe it or not, I've burned this one three times, and this is only how far it's gone down. There's a 75 hour burn time on these, and they're 12 ounces, which is two and a half ounces less than Bath and Body Works, and about 30 more hours, I wanna say. So that's great. Another thing that I wanna mention with these candles is that I have a theory on why, which I'll explain in just a second, but the first burn on every single one of these candles that I have burned is weak, meaning like, or like the throw is weak. And it's kind of disappointing, um, especially because I think these candles range between like 12 to $15. I think it depends on where you buy it. But uh, as it burns down, this, that second burn, it'll be very fragrant and very strong. Some of these are as strong as Bath & Body Works candles. I feel like this one, Pumpkin Vanilla, is as strong as a Bath & Body Works candle. And other ones are like just a little bit lighter than this, but none of them are weak that I have personally tried. They're stronger than any candle that I've had from like TJ Maxx or whatever, but sometimes Bath & Body Works, like Pumpkin Pecan Waffles, is so, so strong that it's hard for any candle brand to compete with that. But um, this candle in particular, is giving my Bath and Body Works uh, candles a run for their money. So pumpkin vanilla is so sweet. If you love um, just like, if you love foodie sweet gourmand scents, you will love this. Um, this allspice pumpkin custard is pretty similar. This one has a, like a touch more spice, I would say, and I've been enjoying both of these a lot. Um, this caramel dr pumpkin caramel drizzle is similar as well i don't think you need all three but it just depends on what you prefer more they they're similar but they have slight uh slight differences this one is a little bit more caramel this one is a little bit more spicy although it doesn't have much spice in it at all and this has zero spice it's just sweet so i absolutely love these and oh by the way what i was going to say my theory on why the beginning burn is um weaker is because I don't know if you'll be able to see um, these are the wax is little tiny chips and so I think at the top of here the wax is a little bit looser so there's less wax and therefore less fragrance and I think that may be why I think that may be why they're a little bit um, lighter on their first burn so those are the three scents that I really like. These two I didn't enjoy as much, um, just on cold. So we'll move on from that and let's get into the wax melt. So there are some Christmas wax melts mixed in here, which is really exciting. I have Wild Harvested Bayberry and these wax melts are really cool. One, they're so much bigger than Better Homes and Gardens, like the um, Walmart ones. They're a bit pricier. They're I think $6 for a sleeve of them or a clamshell whatever you call these but they're huge and they're so strong so i haven't um used any of these wax melts yet i had to pause i have tried their wax melts several times i have 
quite a bit of experience with them. I just meant these ones that they sent me. I haven't tried them yet. Just quite honestly, I don't know where my wax melter is right now because we recently moved. Um, but I'm excited to kind of dig it out and try some of these. So if you have any questions about these, let me know in the comments below and I will do my best to answer them. So Wild Harvested Bayberry, it has like pine needles in it and they all have something in them which makes them really cool. This is Spicy Cinnamon Toddy and this has cinnamon bark in it. This is a very dry scent. It's not my favorite of the bunch, but um, if you like spicy dry, like it really smells like a toddy, um, I would say. So if you like that, I would give that one a try. These two have glitter in them, if you can see. This one is Home for the Holidays. This is really good. It smells kind of like a pot simmering of like cinnamon and orange rinds and apples. Um, it's just that really cozy, homey, kind of country smell. This one is Merry Merry Milkshake, and this one smells milky. This one is Honey Soaked Apples. It has some cinnamon bark in it as well, and this is actually my favorite all-time scent from them. I have one right here, and I've shown this in videos before. Um, Oh, it smells like Cider Lane or Caramel Apple. It's really good and this one is strong like I feel like it gets stronger the further down I burn it and I absolutely love this one. Fresh Cut Christmas Tree. This also has the pine needles in it and you guys this literally brought tears to my eyes when I smelled it. Oh, it just it smells exactly like you're at a Christmas tree farm. So authentic nothing fake about it does not smell anything like a pine cleaner or like a pine tree car air freshener it is just so spot on it takes me back to like this one particular winter um, I went it was the last time we cut down a tree as a family together and I mean when I say as a family my youngest of my older brothers came with us and it was kind of like a shock that he came with us because he was at that age where he was probably too cool to be doing something like that, but he did anyways, and it started to snow while we were there, and it just, it brought tears to my eyes because the memory is just so special, and, um, you know, took me back to a simpler time, and that's a really great thing about fragrance, that it can do that for you, and um, I, I don't know if this is a permanent in their line because I don't usually gravitate towards pine scents, but this just the emotion that it brings me i have to get my hands on more of these um, and i hope to have this for years to come i have another roasted pumpkin seed this looks like it has like uh, ground cinnamon in it this is holiday plum and sweet cream juniper berry and lime zest this is really good this smells like a mojito. You know what else it smells like? It smells like a lime gummy bear too. That's really nice. And this has glitter in it too. Oh, by the way, this is a drizzle melt. So the base is one scent and then they drizzle another scent on top. This is silver spruce and cedar tips. This is another drizzle melt. This is mistletoe kiss and it has glitter in it as well. This is peppermint twist. I really like this one. This smells exactly like peppermint bark. I almost smell like the white chocolate and the dark chocolate. It reminds me of the William Sonoma peppermint bark. This is mocha marshmallow swirl. I was very excited to receive this one. And it looks like it has cookies and cream, like Oreo bits in it. That might actually be Oreo. I don't know what that is. And it smells like a, a latte. It smells like a latte. It might have like a hint of mint in it or something, like a... Andy's style mint. It's really nice. I think a lot of people are going to love that one. This is almond milk and Tupelo honey and it smells um, very much like amaretto or almond extract. This is 
this has glitter in it and it's modern pure vanilla and this is a not very sweet vanilla scent this is like vanilla in its pure form i would say it smells almost like it's like toasted vanilla in a way but it's it's sweet but it's not like super it's not sweetened up vanilla it smells like vanilla and it's pure form and it has the glitter in it this is whipped pumpkin latte it looks like it has some bark in it as well cinnamon bark by the way it says thank you for your order please enjoy a free gift so I don't know how much you have to spend to receive a free gift, but they do throw in a free gift um, depending on the size of your order. Um, and you guys know that I didn't order these myself, but that's um, really nice that they even threw them in for me. And then the last one that I have is Frosted Cranberry and Sugar Vanilla, and there is glitter in there. And this smells like almost like a perfumey kind of cranberry. It's different than Frosted Cranberry from Bath & Body Works and it's different than Cranberry Chutney. Is it Cranberry Chutney from Yankee? Which I don't even mess with Yankee. But um, yeah, so that is everything for this haul, you guys. I can't believe we got through that. Thank you so much for sticking with me all the way to the end. Um, if you're interested in Swan Creek, the information will be down below. Please go follow them on Instagram. If you're considering buying soy candles and um, having healthier, cleaner burning candles in your home, then definitely try it out with them. They're an amazing company and uh, it's kind of like supporting the local economy for me, I guess, if you shop there. So um, I really hope that you guys enjoyed and give this video a thumbs up if you did. Let me know if you're excited for my home tour. Uh, for fall or if you think that YouTube is oversaturated with home tours. I sure hope not because that's the video that I've been anticipating the entire year and I have just not gotten around to filming it and it kind of bums me out but I hope that you guys will tune in for it anyways and yeah I will see you back in another video. Bye guys!